So what are battery cycles on your MacBook? And what does Apple say is way too many battery cycles? Let's find out. All right, so in this video, we're gonna do a couple things. Number one is we're gonna go through and let you know what, what battery cycles mean. And everyone thinks they may know what battery cycles mean, but it's actually gonna be defined exactly by Apple. It's a little bit different than you think. That's number one, I guarantee you that. So that'll be battery cycles. And all MacBooks have battery cycles to show you how, you know, what kind of condition their battery's in. Why is this important? Well, if you're buying, obviously, a used MacBook, let's say you're online on eBay or something, you want to look at the battery cycles of any MacBook that you buy, whether it's, you know, a new one like this one or one that's in 2009, 2011, any of those. You want to see how many battery cycles there are because it'll tell you how quickly you're going to need to replace that battery. And uh, the other reason you want to know about it is just for your own, you know, when do you think your own battery on your own MacBook is going to actually run out? So, for instance, this is a 2020. If I was to use this every day, you know, 16 hours a day, I would want to kind of go in there and see when I can maybe anticipate this to break or when this would actually kind of wear out. I don't want to be traveling somewhere like in Europe or something and have this just kind of go kaput on me and I can't get a new battery in it. So. This is gonna be obviously, you know, again, take it with a grain of salt. This is gonna be coming from Apple, this information. So in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through, again, number one, what are battery cycles? And then number two, I'm gonna show you exactly where to find the information to show you what Apple recommends for battery cycles. And if you're buying something like a MacBook online or something, definitely ask that question. And we'll kind of get into this now, but definitely ask the question about how many battery cycles you know that, that MacBook has so you know if you have to replace that battery right away. And on MacBooks that you can't really replace the batteries easily on, that could be a problem. All right, so the very first thing you want to do is let's go ahead and check for your own battery cycle count on your own MacBook if you have one. Or let me show you how to do that. It's really, really easy. Go up to the Apple icon up here, click on the Apple icon, click on About This Mac right there. The screen's going to come up, and down here there's a button called System Report. See it there? And uh, you click on that. Now this is going to open up this screen, which you can see here. It's going to be maybe a little bit hard for you to see, but in any case, what you want to do is on the left-hand side over here, you want to look for Power, and you click on Power. And then go down in this list here, and right here, Cycle Count. So I only have seven cycles on this machine right now. and. Uh, you know, let me go through what a cycle count means here, and then we can kind of go from there. But cycle count is a little bit different than what you think. All right, so what cycle count means? So cycle count is not the total number of times you use the battery, which is what people think. So they think every time you use the battery, it counts as a cycle count. That's not the case. It's slightly different. It's how many times you used 100% of your battery. So let's go ahead and just give three examples really quickly. So for example, if you charge your laptop to 100% and then you use 33% the first day, 33% the second day, and 33% the third day, that only counts as one cycle count. If you charge your MacBook to 100% and drain it to 50%, then charge it again to 100% and then drain it to 50%, that's only one cycle because you really only drained 100% total. Finally, the last example, if you charge your laptop to 100% every three days and then you use 33% charge per day, so obviously you're using roughly a full charge every three days, you will have 365 days divided by three, roughly 122 charge cycles per year. So hopefully that actually lets you know how they ac actually you know, document what a charge cycle is. All right, now let's just say you're looking for a used MacBook. It can be a MacBook Air or any type of MacBook Pro, but here's a MacBook Air, so it's on eBay. What you're going to want to do is when you're looking for this, you want to kind of scroll down, and, and a lot of these won't have this. So you're going to have to find this or call the place, email them, find out. On this particular one, look over here, though. See over here where my cursor is? Battery, health condition, normal, 201 cycles. So that means it went through a hundred, when, you know, they used 100% of the battery, 100, or 201 times, I'm sorry, 201 times they used 100% of the battery. And that's basically going to give you the health condition of this battery. Now what do we do? Let's go to, you know, actually Apple now, and we'll see if that's actually good for this this system. This system is a, what is this, a 2015 MacBook Air, and there's specific documentation on when Apple thinks these will fail or when they should be replaced, and that's what we really want to know. So let's go there now. All right, so the page you want to go to, I have it linked here. You can see it at the bottom there. So that's the page you actually want to visit to get to Apple's page on defining cycles. The same information is listed here as far as what we just talked about. But if you scroll down, it's going to go ahead and give you cycle count limits on this page. See right here, cycle count limits. It's going to tell you what's going to be the maximum cycle count you should kind of expect out of any system that you're running. And uh, let's just scroll down. I'll come right back up. Let's scroll down really quickly to the MacBook Airs. So I talked about a 2015 MacBook Air, which is right here. 
and it says 1,000 cycles. So that last one actually had, what, 200 and something? So it's got a fairly good life left on the actual battery, or at least it should. These are all obviously just taking guesses. I mean, it's not, never a perfect science. But if you go to this chart here on this page, you can see that, you know, obviously the newer MacBooks, um, some of them have 1,000, 2009s though, and 2008, 2007s, 300 is the number, which is pretty low. Uh, MacBook inch, I'm sorry, MacBook 13 inch aluminum, 2008, 500. So there's some differences here, but most of the new ones you can see do have, um, I mean, these are like gonna be up to 2020s, 1,000. So 1,000 seems like it's for the newer ones. For some of the 2008s and whatever later ones, it's you know between 500 and 300. And you'll see that throughout the case. And then obviously here, here we go with the MacBook Air, same thing, a thousand, you know, for, for more of the recent ones, all actually all the way back to 2010. So anyways, I hope this helps people understand why it's important if you're buying one or if you're traveling and you want to make sure that your, your battery's not going to go out on you one day and, you know, when you may have to replace it. So just wanted to help people and kind of figure out, you know, what is this all about and, uh, you know, what can you keep an eye open for? All right, thanks for watching this short video. Again, battery cycles are a little bit different. Most people think they know what they are. They're probably pretty close, but I just wanted to clarify everything, give you some information on where you can find it from Apple's website, and then also the importance of knowing why, you know, why are battery cycles even important on a MacBook like this. So hope you guys enjoy these videos. You know, I can definitely make more of them if you can help subscribe to them and actually click the like button on them. Um, I make, you know, two to three a week, usually on Mac stuff, some PC stuff, and then I do some other kind of rogue stuff every once in a while, sometimes travel and stuff, but nothing's going on right now. So at the end of the day, though, definitely go ahead and subscribe if you can, if you want to see some more like this. Talk to you soon. Peace.